Welcome back to CMB Reviews. My name is Champ. My name is Bishop. And today we're going to be going over the world tour and the announcement of the date of the new album. So uh, Bishop did just get back from vacation. So we're back. the grind is back. Right? I know we kind of <laughs> kind of been slowing down a little bit, but like the grind's going to be back. We, you know, um, black pink in your area. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, so literally in let, our area. Th yeah, so let's go over the dates, man. And honestly, it, I, I mean, I couldn't be happier. I mean, we're literally off the rip. So we got this is how it goes, right? October's coming up, right? We got the pre-release August sixth, nineteenth, right? August nineteenth. That's a the big single, week, right? Wait, why? DPZ releases. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> August 19th, pre-release single, okay? Yes. And then, so the album, 916. Ooh. Guys, that's like eight days away. Oh, no. Warm pink. That's like Eight 12. days away from my birthday. So, oh. that's oh, pretty, that's uh, a significant September, date. September. September 16th. That you said August. And then October is when they start the tour. So, mm -hmm. about a month mm -hmm. after. So, the first up is Seoul. We already knew that was going to happen, right? Yeah. But it's nowhere in the United States. But... First stop, Dallas, Texas. And if you guys don't know, we are in Dallas, Tech. Well, not specifically. Bro, that's but crazy. They're really, like, coming to, like, only Texas, if you think about it, in the U.S. They got Georgia, like, Atlanta, well, Chicago. New York. Newark, New Jersey, L.A. London. But, I mean, like, after it's, that. Yeah, like, honestly. Like, and they're you, going to you, the two biggest cities in Texas. You think of all these K-pop groups, they go to Texas, L.A., New York, Chicago. Mm. Done. That's honestly most of the time. And I'm very surprised. Do you think it has to do with like demographics and population? It's definitely the biggest cities, right? L.A. Everyone knows Dallas. Chi Chicago's pretty huge, and New York is pretty big. I mean, name another city like that's that big. Miami. Yeah, I guess Miami, but Portland. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm just. No, I, yeah, but Portland doesn't probably doesn't have that. That's but, what I'm saying. Though, you know like, what? I, like it's got to be demographic. These are gonna be that. Like, they're gonna be those hitters. But I'll put you this. I'm so happy. Guys, if we don't go to Dallas, which we'll probably end up buying tickets to Dallas, either resell, hopefully not resell. Please. But if we resell. do see better seats at a better price in Houston, we'll probably, we might even go to both. I'll be honest with you, because I, I don't know the date on these, but um, we might Shows go to right both. There, 25th and 25th. Well, like Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh my God, I hope it's not during yeah. the week. I mean, it don't matter to me, to be honest with you. I, I mean, we're going regardless. It's going to be tired for work, point blank period. You know, so. Um, and then they go to, you know, all these different cities. And then they go to London, Barcelona, Paris. So, a lot in Europe. And then they go to Asia. Mm -hmm. And then, I, I'll be honest, oh my God, I don't they're even going know. on tour all the way through June. Yeah, it's kind of, they're taking a couple months. I was like, about to break. say, but like, yeah, they're taking breaks throughout. So it's Which, not like it's just on go, you know? It may be for like other songs. It may be just for break. It may I mean, be think for about shows. It, they're probably going to be like, you know, in a bunch of interviews, a bunch of shows. It could be a night, lot of things. Night shows, yeah. you know, TV appearances and stuff like that for sure. And obviously there's and more too. So mm -hmm. they're probably going to announce more. Um, a lot of K-pop artists, honestly, like twice. Mm-hmm. They did Dallas, um, or was it Dallas twice? It was like LA twice mm. because they sold out mm -hmm. and they were like, you know what, let's just add an extra one. Mm. And th you know, they have enough days to do it, they have gap days, but like, you do think, they want to put that workload on? You them? think they're selling out every arena? They're selling out easily every arena. <sighs> wow. But I mean, because think about it, Dallas, you're probably going to get every single southern Where state. What do you think out in Dallas, American Airlines or ATT? American, I, man, that was AT and T's like huge. AT and T's huge. They I, could do it though. Who's AT and T though? Like what? Who's done AT and T? My bad bunny. I, they could do it, but I, recently seeing all these K-pop artists like twice doing Dickies Arena, bro, they could do American Airlines, but they didn't. They didn't put them in there. Mm -hmm. So I feel like American Blackpink Airlines. would get American. I could see that, and they'll sell out of it easily. Mm -hmm. They could get AT and T though, which I really do hope for. That'd be crazy because it would be, we would get a seat. I mean, well, it would be hard. It would be easier to get a seat. Yeah, but um, so guys, comment down below if you guys are going. Like you know, obviously want to go, and if you aren't in any of these countries or like cities, then you know maybe the and more. 
I know Mexico didn't get in here, so that's mm. you know a lot of countries, honestly. Yeah, but I was about to say, yeah, I just seen a couple. Mexico. It just amazes me that they're coming to Dallas and Houston. Yeah, I it, was like, bro, we're very fortunate to be honest with you. So we're very thankful. And then in a good spot. Obviously, born pink, born pink, nine sixteen, um, the album. So they didn't release the track list or anything. We're gonna. They part- better drop at least like eight tracks. At least I, think about it. How, two how years, about two, two year hiatus. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. A at least minimum, bro. Minimum, and I'm talking like new songs. Cause not, not with that pre single Call of Duty. Uh, <laughs> Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? PUBG Mobile. Yeah, like now nah, I'm I'm talking eight brand new tracks. Yeah, I at just, least I can understand. Cause that. I always feel like K-pop, like especially with Blackpink, they always been six. Yeah, like the album was like six or seven. You know. And yeah, so very limited. I, I just, get it. I but, at least want to see. I would love to see eight. Double digits would be nice too. Double digits would be preferred. That would be crazy. I've never heard them not produce a hit though. That's crazy. So, can they make like fifteen hits? Like this is gonna one test album? if like they're still on, on top, right? I think they're still on top. Didn't you say like all the other girls are coming up? Now? No, but all the other girls are coming up for sure. But I think Blackpink. This, it's ridiculous the hype they have on this. Mm. Like just like. The likes and everything, like the videos, bro. They reached number one. Like Ready for Love, was like the most to like one million, like in the first, like most views in the first twenty four hours. And to be honest, it was already a leaked track. It was a PUBG mobile track. It was kind of a throwaway, to be honest with you. And they already they got the fastest, yeah. Well, YG basically said it's a throwaway because they didn't release it themselves. They mm. just sold it off. But we're excited. Guys, we are excited. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. And we're back on this grind. Bishop's back. So we're going to hopefully react to new stuff, old stuff, get on our Blackpink grind, get on our K-pop grind. So thank you guys so much for supporting. And that's going to be it for the video. We're out of here. Peace.